What's uh, what's next on the list here? Uh, probably my skepticism for the use of metformin as a geroprotective molecule. So metformin is a drug that has been widely used for the early intervention of patients with type 2 diabetes and even patients with you know severe insulin resistance who are not yet type 2 diabetics. Uh, and in that regard, it's been a productive drug. Uh, so it, it, it seems to work by reducing um, uh, hepatic glucose output. And so in other words, it works by putting less glucose into the system. After today's video, you've got to check out this PEMF mat. So this pulse electromagnetic field mat from Bond Charge. So if you've seen me talk about the sauna blankets before, this biohacking company has come out with this super cool mat. So this mat, uses like grounding technology and it uses all kinds of different waves. So it can send delta waves through your body, it can send alpha waves, beta waves, to change sort of your state and help you relax. It's really cool stuff. So if you're trying to improve your sleep, trying to improve your mood, trying to calm your central nervous system, it really is a game changer for that. Like I laid on it the first time and within 15 minutes, I felt like my state had completely shifted. I was much more relaxed, but they're also using red light therapy and they're also using infrared as well. So you're getting infrared heat. So you get this like relaxing effect when you lay on it. You're also getting 660 red light therapy as well. So you're getting the red light effect, but then you have five different settings for different PEMF settings. And what that means is you're basically sending small amounts of delta waves or small amounts of specific grounding waves to kind of change your body's feeling and how you feel. It's pretty cool. So you use it for like 10, 15 minutes per day and you just do it when you're meditating, you do it when you're doing breath work or anything like that. They deliver super, super fast, like worldwide shipping anywhere. And that link down below saves you some serious cashola. So that is a discount link down below using that code and that link. So after today's video, if you want to try something that's going to change how you feel pretty darn quick, at least in my opinion, check out Bond Charge's PEMF mat down below. Uh, but of course, it, it became a drug of interest uh, about a decade ago because of some epidemiology that suggested that people who took metformin uh, with type 2 diabetes had better odds at surviving cancer than people who didn't have diabetes and didn't take metformin. And that was an enormous suggestion because we understand very clearly that people with type 2 diabetes are at a much greater increase for cancer. So how is it that people with this disease who have a much higher incidence of cancer, if they take this drug, seem to not get cancer at the same rate as non-diabetics who don't take the drug? Um, and there's clearly some interesting mechanisms of action for why that might be the case. It could be that um, you know activation of AMPK itself is protective. It could be that just lowering glucose and lowering a growth factor like insulin and IGF is protective. There are lots of explanations for this. Um, and as a result of that, gosh, I mean, I was taking metformin prophylactically, i.e. as geroprotective agent starting in about 2011 um, is when I began taking it. And by about 2018, 2019, so about five years ago, <clears throat> You know, I noticed a couple of things that I didn't like. One was as I track my lactate levels, I noticed my lactate levels were always higher than I thought they should have been. Uh, this was most notable even at rest and also doing kind of zone two activity. Um, that might not be surprising when you understand how metformin works, which is it's at least in part a weak mitochondrial toxin. Mm -hmm. So if you're poisoning the mitochondria just slightly, uh, which is what you're doing to get that AMPK activation, you're also impairing somewhat oxidative phosphorylation. And that's why you're gonna see a higher lactate. That struck me as not a great idea, uh, at least in a person who's capable of exercising greatly, as I am and uh, many of my patients are. Uh, furthermore, there was a, a, a study that came out quite recently that only had me kind of double down on that thinking, which was it was a repeat of the epidemiologic analysis that suggested that metformin was beneficial relative to uh, non-use in non-diabetics, but just done on a different cohort of patients and frankly done a little, with a little bit more statistical rigor. And it came to the opposite conclusion. It came to the conclusion you would expect, which is that patients with diabetes who take metformin still actually fare worse 
than the other than non-diabetics not taking metformin when adjusted for all other variables, and uh, you know for reasons that I cover in a newsletter that I wrote, which you know we can maybe link to, um, I find the latter study more compelling, not simply because it agrees with my newfound thinking, but because I simply think it's a more reasonable uh, scientific analysis. Ultimately, we will find this out one way or the other because there is a clinical trial that is going on that's asking this question. And so my hope is that in five years, we'll just have the answer and we won't have to rely on this indirect insight or indirect information that's always gonna be prone to biases uh, and therefore is ultimately not dispositive in helping us understand this. And if we're sitting here in five years and the TAME trial, which is the name of the trial, found that metformin is indeed geroprotective, I'll be the first one to be taking it again. So a question that I've always had that might sound like a total noob question, but if, if metformin is a, a mild mitochondrial stressor and activates AMPK, is it potentially going to inhibit hypertrophy? Like, I mean, are you, are you potentially limiting the rate of muscle preservation or potentially growth? It's possible, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's an interesting, interesting thought that it's always crossed my mind, but well, 